hello everyone in this tutorial we are going to talk about the page sizes in adobe indesign so let's create a new document and keep the size of the document as 1000 by 1000 pixel initially okay so we have created a page that has a dimension of 1000 by 1000 pixel right and i am going to place an image inside it let's suppose i have just taken an example of this image and i have placed it inside the page okay as you can see that the image has been placed inside the page and against and like my requirements this is not getting fit on the page size so what i have to do i have to reduce the width of the page so how we can do that just click on the uh, page click on this button go to custom and you can always change the dimension of the page from here okay so now the image has been placed just for an example this is just for an example let's suppose that the image has been fixed on this dimensions okay let's create another page okay now as you can see that if i'm going to place the image of similar dimension on the second page i will have to again change the dimensions right i will have to go to custom and again i have to select let's suppose 800 and the image will get fit inside the page okay but let's suppose if there are 10 or 20 pages and same working is to be done on all the pages so it will be quite tedious task to do it so in that case what we do we do not change the size of the individual pages in fact we change the size of the parent that is here just select the parent go to custom and from here change the size to 800 pixel so as you can see that the size of page number one two and any other page that we will create will have the dimensions of 800 by 100 1000 pixels okay so this is the procedure to change the page sizes so let's suppose we have page number four and five we just want to keep the sizes of page number one two three but want to change the sizes of four to five so again we will instead of doing it manually there is another method to change the size of different pages just click here go to new parent you can change the size from here of the parent or if you have created the parent and forgot to change the size you can always do it just keeping the parent selected go to custom and change the width to just, let's suppose we now want to keep it as 1250 okay now the parent b has a dimension of 1000 by 1250 pixels okay but as you can see that the parent is not applied on page number four and five so it has the dimensions of parent a in order to apply the dimensions of parent b onto the page number four and five what you need to do just drag the parent of the left side to the page number four it will ask that page four has a custom page size this page can retain its current size or be resized to match the new parent so obviously we want to use the parent page size okay just click on it so you will see that the page number four has now the dimension of one to five zero by thousand pixels and in order to change the dimensions of the right side that is the page number five just drag the right side of the parent b onto the page number five so using this method you can change the sizes of the pages individually now it it completely depends on you when you create new pages what dimensions you want to keep if you want to keep the dimension of parent a you can simply drag the parent a on it if you want to keep the dimension of parent b you can drag the dimension of parent b over it